Uh, we're taught to bring the scripture. It's almost like if you come to a dinner, yeah. can you bring, bring something? Yeah. Even if you bring a bowl of peas or corn, somebody's going to like it. Hey, <laughs> guess what? Especially if it's me, I love peas. I love corn. I love anything, brother. I love to eat. I thank God. Uh, Ephesians 1 and 19. Now, this is what I brought for the dinner. And what is the exceeding greatness? I love these. I'm... I'm not a scholar either, sister. But these colorful words, I'm telling you, I tell the little children when they color these pictures, they ain't nothing. But when you color them, it brings them to life. That's right. Yes. Put purple here, green here. That's he right, puts sissy. exceeding here <laughs> greatness of his power uh -huh. to us word who believe. Now, it's like you said, it ain't to the ones that don't believe. You got to be a believer. Yes. And then then all these words go with that. Exceeding greatness of his power to us who, are, who believe according to the working of his mighty power. You know, I never did can very much, Brother Butch, but one time I, I cut up cabbage and I put it in these jars and I watched it. And some of it was working inside them jars and others wasn't working. Uh, and on. the ones that was working, a little bit I heard it go... <laughs> So that's the one that was working. Come on. <laughs> right. If right. you ain't working, you ain't going to do nothing. Right. You're just going to sit there. But yes. he's working in us. I feel like a jar crap. Yeah. Yeah. It's working in me. It's oh, working yeah. in me. Hallelujah. That Holy Ghost. I thank God. Uh, I love the story. A uh, lot of stories in the Bible. And I love the one about Caleb. He said, I'm 80 years old. And I feel just like I did when I was 40. Yeah. Come on. I'm getting closer to 80 than I was. <laughs> hey, and I feel better than I did when I was 40. <laughs> said, which he wrought in Christ. His mighty power, which he wrought in Christ. Hey, if you can't get excited about the word, you're in bad shape. I get excited when I hear this word. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. That's what he did in Christ. He's doing the same thing in me, Brother Butch. I, no wonder I'm excited. I'm thrilled. I am thrilled because he's great. He's great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank all you wonderful folks for the invitation to come and, and worship with you. Amen. Bless the Lord. We heard about all the wonderful services you're having and I hope I can say something to encourage you. Now, it's very important. We, we know that the, the Bible says my people are destroyed, destroyed. for lack of knowledge. Amen. 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 Now, now I, I don't, I don't want to offend anybody. I just want to do some teaching. Now, uh, where there is no vision, where there's no vision, the people perish. So there's got to be, vision is revelation. There has to be revelation. There has to be a revealing of the Word of God. As somebody said, there has to be an understanding and a revelation of the purpose of God. Amen. God has a purpose for each and every one that's born. Now, to enjoy, enjoy the fullness of God, you must understand the purpose that He called you for. Somebody say amen. amen. Now the Creator has in His mind what each member purpose is. Now, now let's take a natural illustration. Uh, a hammer uh, is created to drive nails. But now, sometimes if you don't understand that, you pick up a pair of pliers and you try to drive a nail with it. Amen. And, and the, the benefit of the, the creation is not expressed or enjoyed. So let's talk about that just a little bit now. Amen. I'll, I'll go a little bit in front of you in Ephesians. He said, Paul said, uh, Wherefore, after I heard of your faith, he said, I, I, 
I heard about your faith. We're talking about you. I heard what faith you had. Come on. And I heard about your love. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I'm still praying for you. You, you mean I got faith and I, I got love and you're still praying for me? He said, I'm giving thanks for you. Make a mention of you in my prayers. Uh -huh. what, what are you praying? That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. He said, I, I give you, I, I require faith. Without faith, you can't please me. So I'm going to give you some faith. Amen. And, and faith just works by love. So I'm going to give you the Holy Ghost. So now you got faith and love. But now I got a purpose for you. I, I got something for you to do. I gave you faith. I gave you love. Now I'm still praying for you because I want to use you for my glory. Somebody say amen. Amen. He said that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, uh, what do you want me to know? That you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. He said, I I'm praying that you see why I called you. I, I want you to understand the hope or expectation I have out of you. I gave you my spirit. I gave you my name. I gave you my anointing. Now I expect something out of you. I called you. I formed you. I created you. I washed you in my blood. I filled you with my spirit. I I wrote your name on the Lamb's Book of Life. I anointed you. I called you. Now I want you to understand why I called you. Come on, brother. Come on. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we go a little further? Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to know. Now watch what he prays again. Wherefore also. We pray also for you. Now what are you praying, Paul? That God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of His goodness and the work of faith with power. What's the point, Paul? That the name of our Lord Jesus Christ right. may be glorified right. in you and you in him. He said, I want to, I called you, I died for you, I bought you, you're my temple, you're my house, you're my body. I want to be glorified in you. I'm invisible. I want to be made visible through you. You're my hand. You're my feet. Hey, you're my voice. I want to be glorified in you. Let's go, little father. I'll try not to hold you long. I know. Fifteenth night, man. That's amazing, honey. Come on, brother. Amen. 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 Now, let's look at something. Now, he warns us. Uh, he said, uh, in the world now, you're going to have tribulations. I, I'm, I'm telling you, ahead of time, you, you're going to have troubles. Amen. Then he tells us, he says, now, I'm going to go ahead and warn you, there's a devil. There's a devil. And what's he doing? He's walking about. Huh? He's looking for somebody he can devour. Amen. Come on. But what's he tell us to do? Run from him? He said, now, nah, I want you to resist him. Come on. Come on. Now, you, you got to know who you are. Amen. Come on. You, you got to know who you are because there's a... Okay, let's go a little further. Amen. He says... Uh, He says, there was a man, his name was Samson, and I called him for a purpose. Somebody say, I got a purpose. Now, Samson was called by God, amen, and watch what happens, amen. Samson went down 
in his father and mother to Timnath and came to the vineyard of Timnath and behold a young lion roared against him now this ain't a kitty cat honey hallelujah this is a young lion and it's prime in it's strength it's a, a young lion look, looking for a fight <laughs> looking for a prey looking for somebody he can prey on and, and here he comes you, you ever seen the beat uh, you, you're going along good you know you've been to service every night paying your tithes and giving your offerings and all of a sudden now that line is uh, somebody help me preach now amen uh, hey, you're feeling good uh, had a good service uh, you go home uh, and there that line is uh, somebody help me preach now hallelujah and it's there to cause you trouble it's there to discourage you it's there to tell you a lie it's there to take your confidence yeah, come on, come on. Samson do call his daddy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. What Samson do call the pastor? Come on. Come on. Uh, Come on he was called, buddy. <laughs> Hallelujah. He done got his call. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. He didn't call his buddy. He didn't call the deacon board. He didn't dial 911. Somebody listen. Come on. Y'all listening? Come on. Yeah. Now watch what happens when that young lion shows up and the spirit of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> well, glory. Hallelujah. And Sister Donna said, what was it? Let me read a little more. Praise God. This might be the shortest message you've ever heard. And the spirit of the Lord came Mildly. You ever know, see people? Larry, they say, oh, if I could just get a touch. <laughs> what you talking about, touch? When he comes, he comes mightily. Mightily. With power. With authority. Back up. Scoot over a little bit here. Let me in there. <laughs> you ever seen them people? They go sit in a waiting room two or three hours. Yeah. Come on, brother. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you about a God that I got. He comes to your house, honey. <laughs> To where you live. Uh, hallelujah. Because you're his child. Uh, you don't have to get no appointment. Uh, hallelujah. He comes to you. Uh, and he come uh, right now. He comes. Uh, he comes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he comes uh, to supply every need. Uh, he comes uh, to heal. Uh, to deliver. Uh, he comes. Uh, he comes. Uh, in all his glory. Well, what are we going to do about this line now? We got to do something about this line. Uh -huh. He's causing trouble. Come Amen. On. Come on. Praise God. Jesus. The Spirit. Honey, you got that Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. You just, all you need is the Holy Ghost. That's it. You don't need no degree. Come on. Amen. Some of these guys got more degrees than a thermometer. Come on. Hallelujah. But I got the Holy Ghost. I got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Now watch what the, the Holy Ghost does. It don't come and say. If I got testimony, yeah, the devil's been on my back. That's your fault. Devil's been tormenting me. That's your fault. Come on. You got the Holy Ghost? Do you know that God don't pity you? No, he don't. He gives you power. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. 
I can't hardly stand this myself. <laughs> Come on. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And what did he do then? Hallelujah. And he rent that line like a little kid. He, he didn't have anything in his hand, but he had something in his heart, didn't he? Hallelujah. He had something on the inside. You gotta have it on the inside. Revival. Come on! Come on! Lord! Oh, in his hand. Now watch it. Now watch what he says. Oh, Jesus. And after a time, he, he returned and he turned aside to see that dead line. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh! Amen! Come on! Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. That thing that tormented you, huh? that thing that tried to afflict you, that thing that took your peace, that thing that took your joy, that thing that took your testimony. When you got the Holy Ghost, you look around and it's defeated and it's laying there powerless. Amen. He's saying the carcass of the lion in, in this words in our behold. Come on. Behold. behold. There was a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass. Oh, your strength. Honey speaks of strength. It speaks of life. It speaks of joy. And you're going to find your strength. Hallelujah. In that battle that you overcome. In that devil that you conquered. You're going to find it in that enemy that you are what made Samson different? Come on. You think he worked out at the gym every day? Uh -huh. Come on. What do you think made Samson different? As Donna said, you think he went to seminary? Uh -uh. Come on. What made him different? Come on. What makes you different? Come on. Or are you different? Come on. Come on. New creature, we're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna find out. Yeah. I'm a new creature. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Cause the devil has a roaring line. He's gonna try to tear you down. Come on, Ain't Jesus awesome? He warned us. He warned us. Amen. Now watch this. And again, I don't want to offend you. The devil don't care if you come in here and have a good meeting. No, he don't. Uh -uh. No, he don't. He don't care if you dance all over the place. That's right. That's right. And I'm going to tell you why right here. He seen the honey. He took thereof in his hands. And he eat. And then he left it. He left that carcass, but he took the honey with him. <laughs> and he took it to his daddy. And he took it to his mama. Hallelujah. That trial, that warfare you're going through. Hallelujah. Something good going to come out of it. You're going to get some joy. You're going to get some encouragement. Hallelujah. Why? 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 So you can take it out of these walls. So you can take it out to your brothers and sisters. Somebody help me preach that. Now, this, this is going to be, try to be, no, I changed my mind, it ain't. Come on, bless <laughs> We got believers in here. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And God. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Is able to make all grace abound, overflow. Come on, come on. There's a line coming. Come on, come on. But I'm gonna equip you, boy. 
Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You ain't a lion tamer. You a lion slayer. Right. You know what we do, Larry? We give him a little bit to satisfy him. <laughs> yeah, I won't, I won't go to church tonight. Just leave me alone. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't pay my tithes this time. Why, God, hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Preach it. You got to kill it. Come on. Kill it. Man, this is amazing, man. He said, well, I'm, I'm so weak. That's good. His strength's made perfect in your weakness. Amen. God is able to make all grace abound to you. Why? That you always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound in every good work. <laughs> He said, I'm all quick. He said, look here. I saw, I saw Satan fall. Come on. He lost his place. Come on. He, said, he used to be the anointed cherubim, the cover. Uh -huh. I seen him fall. Uh -huh. huh? I, I seen him fall from heaven. He lost his place. He rebelled. Uh -huh. Come on. Yeah. And he looked around and said, Behold, I give you power. Come on. <laughs> he lost his. I'm going to give you yours. Go. Yes. And he said, go. Uh -huh. yeah. Devil don't care if y'all have a good time here. This is going to go nowhere. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Come on, bro. Hallelujah. Right. He said, now go. go. And when Come you on. go, uh -huh. he'll see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Raise the dead. Yes. Come on. Cast down devils. Come on. Come on. Cleanse the lepers. Come on. Yeah. Glory. Come on. Oh, there's still honey in the rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three hours, baby. Right. Come on. Hallelujah. Give me strength. Hallelujah. There's no way up our way, Larry. Man, he's into these fast cars. You know, man, I've got the two of these and three of these. I put this in and that in. I said, that's awesome. He said, you want to go for a ride with me? I said, I tell you what. If you, I will go for a ride with you. If you will go for a ride with me. <laughs> He said, what are you riding? I said, a chariot, man. I'm riding a chariot. Cause you to win in Christ and makes manifest. Now, look here. This is important right here. And makes manifest the Savior of His knowledge by you. Come on. Yes, I mean. He said, I can't let you lose because you're my representative. I can't let you be defeated. You're representing me. I can't let you lose. I that line keep it over you because you're my glorifier. Praise God. You talking about some black people carrying on, man. Yeah. 
Let's Amen. carry it on, man. We're shaking that place. Amen. We'll tell you about a redeemer, boy. Hallelujah. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Uh, ain't no grave. If I was going to sing a song, I'd say, Ain't no grave. I'm going to hold his body down. Well, I gotta finish it. Hallelujah. Now y'all listen real good. This, this really, I'm gonna try for this to be my Come on. Come on. You, you don't realize how many people are dependent on you. Amen. Uh -huh. Come on, brother. Amen. Amen. How many lives you affect? Amen. Sometimes when you don't even realize it. Yeah. Now you got to understand what's been given to you. Come on. You understand the love of God? Come on. That made you a son of God. Come on, Now listen very closely to this. Oh, oh man, Jacob. He said, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to die. Call them, call them boys in here. Yeah, I do. Said, Come on. Help me, help me get up. <laughs> I've been carrying church on a stretcher, huh? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I, I got to get I gotta get in here. Yeah. He said, call them boys in here. I, I I'm a blessing boy. Amen. Watch, watch what he says now. He says, uh, and old Jacob, he said to Joseph, uh, Behold, I'm dying. But God shall be with you. Ooh, glory. Huh? Hallelujah. And bring you, you know who brought me here tonight, don't you? Yeah. And bring you again into the land of your fathers. I thought that's awesome right there, but he, he wasn't through. He said, moreover, in addition to telling you God's with you and he's taking you someplace, he said, I'm going to give thee a portion above your brethren. <laughs> Where'd you get it, Jacob? I took it out of the hand of the Amorite with my bow and my sword. Hallelujah. Now, there's a devil. He done got some of your stuff, boy. Hallelujah. He done took some of your stuff. You got to be a Samson, brother. You got to take back what the devil took from you. Hallelujah. You've been equipped with the sword of the Spirit. You have the power. Let's praise him. Let's give him glory. I don't know what you come to do. Hallelujah. I don't know what you're going to do. But I'm tired of that line chasing me around. I'm tired of that line tormenting me. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God for the mighty anointing of the Holy Ghost that has the power to rip that devil and accept the honey that's in the enemies. Come on, praise him. I know you've been going a long time, but if you need a miracle, just come up here. They're free. They're free. 